Well, hello everyone, this is EC the Gamer and we are back with Near Replica. Hopefully this is the last video uh, uh, ending E. Uh, I thought the other one was going to be, but then they started with the, the text and I said, oh, let me stop here because this is going to take a long time and but yes, I left uh, I left the, the video, the previous video in there because in here because I I don't know how much this is going to be but essentially uh, things got crazy in the last video with Emil actually appeared out of nowhere with four arms and he never explained why he has not only does he has two additional extremities but he has a, a body again but he didn't explain that then we discovered the administrator and then there was talking a lot of things on how the world everything that uh, the the tree what the purpose of the tree is a lot of things that are still confusing but uh, they say that Kaine was the one who stopped uh, Project Gestalt by eliminating the original Gestalt and then all of a sudden we went from near Replicant to near Automata they changed everything like we're talking about some of the things that we saw, uh, we, we have been seeing so far has been things from Nier Automata, some of the the buildings, uh, everything pretty much, uh, it's just crazy. So this story is kind of story when she was talking about her story of a grandmother. It seems to be pretty much the same, I, I don't know if it's going to change but, oh it, it is changing. We're, we're in the story of the apothecary, the, the guy who, uh, the person that gives the kind of the medicine for her grandmother and he starts to disappear so yeah that's where we are. So let's continue to read here. As Kaine stumbles back in horror she hears a cacophony of terror rising up outside. Oh god what's happening? My arms, where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds himself in a nightmare, bone slough. Uh, Holmes fluff off the size of cliff taking off pieces of California as they fall screen echo out everywhere creating an opera feel fit for hell uh, and up and uh, creating opera fit for hell villagers run in mass circles before exploding into dust the clothing drifting this way and that as it flows on tether to the to the air As she stared at the at the why at the scene why I a single thought suddenly insert itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma kinda of breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaped from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stone to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. Uh, kind of bracing to a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. Uh, she leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stone to cross the world. Oh, sorry, I was reading the same thing. As she continued her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes, ash, ash, buildings, and people all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. What the heck is happening? This is different. Soon she arrives at Shalu home. It was once a place filled with freshest memory, a place she regarded as an oasis in an increasingly mad world, but now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gazed unbelievably at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaches her ears. Sky nay. She's alive, grandma's alive. With a speed born out of panic, she leaps into a giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs. But she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small black and four out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma, we're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaine got her grandmother in her arm and break into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the way of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kind of stumble and fall, sending her and her grandmother stumbling into the ashes. 
One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me. Mara's kind as she slings her mother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter as it's, as it's trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. Kaine continues to struggle. She hears a small soft voice enter her, her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thanks. As the voice drifts away, the last pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a soft breeze. Kaine screams an impossible, sad, possibly sad and lonely sound and begins trying to pull the ashes back to her. This can't be, this it can't be happening. Uh, but as the ashes are mingling with the, all, all the other... Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone. With all the other detritus from the collapsed village, and soon she can no longer tell which particle belong to who. Come on, come on, come the fuck home already. As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric, her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it, and I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't say to anyone. I couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place, and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing here. No reason to live. No goal know anything so this is why say. I ain't. suddenly a new voice entered kind of say can you hear me oh my god this is wise after a moment the voice calls out again louder now clearer. then you wish to get him back hmm? Hmm? <laughs> who are who are you talking about uh, for the love of all the heavens I always did know you were a handful oh my god he's still alive Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerve, there is something else as well, a kind of a kind of warm, almost a familiarity. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Says the boy, which causes something deep in Kaine's memory to search for. That's right, I have friends, and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding radiant being of light shoots out across the ash covered world covering her eyes with one trembling hand kind of reaches for it do hurry back now hussy wow so is he actually helping interesting how the heck is he alive oh he's back that's the magic Oh look at that! Is it the airy? Oh, what is the matter? Do you Why? still not remember? Oh yeah, this is what I need. You have to not fight. time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. Let's get him back. Hell yeah! Oh my God, I got. This is like near Tamara. The power of Grima Wise grant you the use, use of my magic. magic to topple the beat. Okay, it's, it's changed. Yeah, I have it again. I presume you know how to use magic, yes? Yeah. Give us a show, hussy! I don't need your help to take out this goddamn fuck waffle! Use my power to knock the creature down with magic. Done! Now clobber the beast! Where Let's fuck it up good! <laughs> wow. Shit, this thing is tough. Let the next onslaught be our last. What the heck? <laughs> Hey, Vice. Yes. Thanks. Have you been in your cups again? Fuck your face. 
You sound of mine, Cassie. What you're attempting is extremely... Oh. What, this is an anime now? Oh crap. What is there, a male? So this is a replicant's potential. The time I hear a song. Don't go. Go back. The song, what the heck? Shut up, shut up, shut up! I already made up my mind. You heard that the sound. Nobody tells me what to the do. Song. <laughs> I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back, and I don't care what it takes. Wow. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life, and I'll do whatever I want with it. So Hell yeah. quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit, and get your ass back here now! That is Harkainé. One of the best characters. Yeah, again, that's the thing. He was talking about a song, but that reminds me of maybe something with Drake and Gartree, right? Yeah, th this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's like... When you think about a humanity, they fail um, continuing themselves, you know, the, the original huma humans. But the truth of the matter is, this is new, the new humanity, the replicants, you know, th this is the next future. There he is. Oh, this is the younger version. Do you want to recover the person you share? Yes. You should discuss and your current safe data will be erased and the new safe data deleted in NDND will be restored. Are you sure about this? Oh, I don't have a problem because that would mean that I would just have to play that again, right? When your save data has been restored, this save data will be erased. So you can only choose this option once. 
Are you really sure? Yes. Are you really sure about this? Well, there's nothing else that I can do. What is the name of the person you cherish? Is this the old one or I have to put the... What the heck? That's the one, right? Unless it's talking about the original one that I put. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking like, what the heck? I put a different name, but no, it's talking about the original one. I'll say file will be restored. Oh my god. Everything is restarting again. My items. There it is. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, when I think about this, you know, this is pretty much this the It's like Yokotar is trying to look for that. What the heck is a soul? Or what does what is the meaning? Of, what is? How do you define a soul? You know, what does a soul? What is the constitution of a soul? Like there, there's really no, no way to explain that. You know, we still to this day we really don't know what truly is a soul. The replicants created their own souls, and that's it. You know, unfortunately, humanity. The original one is not going. It's no more. Or at least it's going to disappear eventually. Because humanity is still here via the Gestalt, but that's going to disappear eventually. Select a file to restore the lost state data to. Oh, okay. Well, it really doesn't matter which one, right? I leave the rest to you, Hasi. Wow. So is this the ending that leave us to to the other game? Oh, don't get, don't tell me that's a flower. Oh, this reminds me of Neo Tamara. That white flower has a lot of meaning in, in all of this game, Dragon Guard Tree. There's a meal. Holy crap, look at that. A naked Our boy. journey may have been meaningless. Our past may have been a mistake. But we're not going back. Even if this world comes to an end. Because this... This is the world with the people we cherish. Holy crap. That's deep as hell. I'm not kidding like that. Applause. Uh... That part there was amazing. That, you know, it's like uh, even if our journey may be meaningless, which if it is meaningless, if you think about it, Project Gestalt uh, fail, uh, and humanity of the past did disappear. But it's like they say the past made a big mistake. But the thing that we love, the thing that we care, these characters care about, was this this moment now. So the flower, then this flower is goddamn like it's a reincarnation. It's 
in Dragon Guard, in Dragon Guard 3, if I remember, that flower was supposed to be the end of the world. Uh, and they were talking about a song, right? That she heard. I don't know what, what was it that they were hearing a song or something like the the other robot, the the administrators. That song could actually be. Or maybe I I just going in a, in something different, but that song could be the same song of Dragon Guard Three. Uh, because the flower is the same thing that happened in the previous in Dragon Guard Three. So that could be like a representation, or they said that the times are di diverging together. That can that makes sense. Uh, you must understand that Dragon Guard Three had to do with Zero trying to save the world. Actually, they, people thought that they were the vi she was the villain, but she was trying to save the world by destroying a flower that was essentially a parasite, something. Uh, interdimensional being or some sort uh, that essentially the power of that flower was able to affect other dimensions other timelines you know uh, and the way that the flower work is let's say timeline A uh, the flower would do I don't know would kill someone then timeline B you just you the flower that kills another different person that flower those events would actually it's like the flower would keep growing over as uh, each time that would go like it was very it was a complex thing but at the end of, at the end of that game the flower did uh, actually bloom but we were able to somehow destroy it I don't remember the name of the dragon that actually did it, but Mikael, Mikael, I think that was the name. But just going back to this game, uh, yeah, humanity failed. Uh, whatever the goal, the not whatever we know the goal is to uh, prolong the life of humanity by taking away, creating this. Artificial beings, you know, these androids, robots, or you want to call the replicants, and then storing the soul of the humans, of the original ones, that is pretty much called the Gestalt, back to their original bot, to to the new bodies that they were created. The problem was that whatever, whatever the process of the the process of creating the 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 gestalt you know the separation of the soul that somehow made the people the soul get this become berserk and I don't understand when is the point that that happened but it seemed like once they started to put the, the souls inside the bodies it started to mess up and it, 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 one of the other theories was that it was actually the soul or at least this consciousness that was growing inside of the replicants. Like the protagonist, Mir, you know, he... There was a consciousness already there, so... Even if the original Gestalt would have been put inside of this new body, it wouldn't matter because... Essentially, the Gestalt were becoming relapsed, and... Like, each time they would put them in the... It's like the syndrome which was the already sees was somehow modified or I don't know they created a new problem I think that's what the humanity did they solved one problem that was the original disease and they created a new disease or a different situation so at the end they got him back a parting greeting has been added to the ocean menu. Visit that woman's house to acquire a new weapon. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. Emil's staff. Uh, 
I think that the name of that sword was the Kusanagi. I think it's like the one of the best swords that Nier uses, and then Kainé's twin swords, twin blades. Let me check something first. Yeah, definitely. I'll in another video. I'm going to talk about the game more. But quite amazing. Let me see. Oh, nice. So I can actually play this again here. So do I need to play it here? Let me check this out first. And I'll talk while I move it. But yes, it's quite an amazing experience this game. I'm going to play Nier Automata definitely now. Uh, because Nier Automata has another has more information that can definitely clear everything out. But this has been an amazing experience. Uh, Essentially, he said that I had to go there, right? Let me check here first. But yes, I'm just quite surprised with this game. They all done themselves. Uh, At least he felt like a happy ending, right? Yeah, he felt like a happy ending of sorts. Oh, don't get me wrong. Uh, they, they, you saw the administrator. They're essentially saying, "Oh, so this is the potential of the replicants." And yes, it makes sense. You know, the replicants. Uh, they are a new type of humanity. You know. And where does this take them? Well, that's what happens in the Automata. But to say that the project was a complete failure, I don't think it was. I just feel like they discover a new thing, something different. They actually achieve a different thing that they never expected. Uh, think about Horizon Zero Dawn. You have played that game, it's an amazing one. Also, in this channel, I played it. Uh, in that game, if I remember correctly, uh, humanity created. Uh, they have a plan for a new, for the new next, gener the next generation humanity. And at the end, the plan wasn't 100% successful because it doesn't matter how much planning you do, you just can't predict the future completely. There's something that is, you don't know how they're going to turn out to, and this is what happened here. Humanity tried to solve one situation to prolong humanity to give, and I oh think there. their problem was that they were always thinking about than self. Yeah, just think about that. Uh, they were never thinking about saving uh, how, how do you s how can I say this? Uh, they were not looking to to the next generation of humanity. It was just themselves. The 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 old generation tried to prolong that those lives rather than than find some way to to make sure that the legacy humanity be alive they fail to do that because they focus on the wrong thing <coughs> although I cannot criticize them because you know clearly the white coronation syndrome was something that they could not there it is yeah there is something there 
I think that that fish was never there. Oh, look at that. Look at Kaine. Let me see this now. Uh, he said one hander, right? Yeah, I'm going to read this later. Look at this. It's crazy. Holy crap, this sword is... Let me go into the jump keep. If I can modify it. But yes, I... Draken Guard Tree... Oh, that's one of... Yes, I forgot to mention this in all the other videos. I thought that Drakengard Tree was after Nier Automata, Ta not near near the original one, right? But no, Nier is the older game, and then came Drakengard Tree. That's totally surprising. I never expected that, but it does make sense. Uh, you think about again this uh, a lot of people. They have to agree that this game, the way they told the story was a bit flawed, you know, with a lot of repetition. But Dragon Guard 3 never did that, you know, yet there is some repetition, but every ending was different in some way. And it's interesting enough, in that game you also play with only one character, so it's it was essentially like this one, but they were able to make each ending unique. This one was not like that. Now the last ending was definitely unique, ending E, but the other ones were just different. Just there was small vi variation between them. So let me check the thing up the sword. Let me see how what do I need to modify it. <laughs> What can I help you with? I don't know. Okay. Come back. Oh, come back soon, now. Let me. I, you can buy it. What can I help you with? Let me see. I don't know how much. Come back. What can I help you with? Yes, but I love. Uh, some of the, Come. you know, the Bly, <laughs> Dragon Guard Tree in this game. They what have can a, I help you with? The focus on Bly, it's like the genetics, you know, that's where the, the genetic of the world of, of humanity is. So it does make sense, that focus on the Bly, the what body, can the I help soul. You with? So I love, some of the teams in this game are just amazing. Let me keep on buying because I don't know how much I'm going to use. Come. <laughs> Maybe I don't need that much, but... What can I help you with? Let's check. Yep. And that's it. Come. <laughs> I modified the weapon completely. I'm definitely going to read the story of each sword. Holy crap, look at that. Yeah, I'll read that later in a different video. This thing has to be a beast. <coughs> but yes, it, it, that ending though, like... At least we saw Emil. Emil didn't disappear, he was there. The fact that he had a body is interesting because the last time we saw him in the desert without a body. So, my question is I would need to look this. Well, not the. Uh, I need to play near Automata again, but which ending? Was ending E or ending D? Which one was the one that. Create a, you know, automata. Because each game is based on that one 
game. I want that uh, specific ending, so... Holy crap, one shot. So we're kind of... you can see the source of kind of a... Quite amazing. I love this war already. So the journey with this character was amazing. So yeah, essentially what the what we saw at the end it wasn't a boss. Uh, the system wasn't trying to kill Kaine. Just they wanted to test to see if the project was truly a, a complete failure but no at the end they saw the potential of the the replicants uh, that they can move forward again they don't need the gestalt even if the gestalt disappear or whatever the replicants uh, we, because again just remember from what I understand, those those things that we see here, the shade, they're Gestalt that w became real after Zerg. And the only way that happened was when they actually put the, the soul inside of the body. So at that point, you lost the soul and the body. That's why you see that when you hit the, the shade, they actually bleed because those are the replicants with their gest respected gestal. But for example, the protagonist, Jonah, and Emil is a weapon, so he doesn't he doesn't count. But Kaine, all of them are actually replicants without their souls. And this was and all of this all of this journey. And that last test of the administrator just proved that the the replicants do not need the gestalt, do not need their soul back. They can live how they are because they actually inadvertently they created a, a new soul. And yes, it like like kind of said at the end, maybe the the world will. Will will end at the end, but it doesn't matter. That's they rather they rather see the see the end of the world here than something you know, something different. They rather live in this moment here, and I can respect that. I think that's something really incredible and beautiful. So yeah, uh, I might uh, yeah I, I will do another video. Talking about this, uh, that ending was pretty unique. Uh, if I were to say which one of my favorite endings had to be this one, the first one, I mean, this would be in the first place. Uh, ending D, second. Uh, the first ending, ending A. And then the other ones, you can just toss them there. This story is still tragic, you know. At the end of the day, the Nier and Jonah perish, they die. And fortunately, they, do, will, they will live on in this body, so they're not going to completely disappear. But the original soul, yeah, those they just went off, you know, they they died. Uh, interesting, they, they mentioned the administrator that Kaine was an error, a mistake in the system. So that could explain the thing with her, her body, that she felt like the body, her body was different from the others. So that could explain that, the, why she was considered a defect. Uh, so that could mean that she was actually, she never, kind of never had a actual soul. There was no respect to Gestalt for her. 
Maybe she was... She was not a glitch, but rather the beginning of the problem. Like, she, not, that, not that she was the origin of the problem, but that she was one of those signs that, yeah, the Gestalt were not going to be able to get back to their body. I must say, either way, I think the the administrator, Devil of Popola, and this other administrator, they fail on their job tremendously. They they underestimated the situation, and they because they were very secret secretive. I think that truly is what ended up, you know, making the plan fail. But yeah guys, an amazing game. Uh, the next videos are going to be the one with the weapon stories and my final thoughts in the game. And then off to Neo Automata. Now I have all of this backstory and that's going to be great when I play Neo Automata. It has been a long time since I haven't played that game, so yeah. As always guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified of the videos that come to the channel. So yeah, the end of a journey and the beginning of a new one. Uh, that's all for now guys, EC the Gamer signing off and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.